as you can see here in this workflow preview that this workflow does not contain any AI whatsoever. It's a straight set of API calls to be able to retrieve a National Weather Service seven day forecast so that it could be utilized in a variety of um, apps. So this was a small utility workflow that could be used across your other projects and other workflows. But in this case, as a sample, I created this to be able to interact with my Slack app. And I will show you that here in a second. Okay, if you've never created a Slack app before, it's fairly easy to do, plenty of documentation to help you to go through that. But you go to api.slack.com slash apps and click on this new app button to get started. Here I already have my app created and you guys can see here that I've got a bunch of basic information, app credentials, etc. And what we want to go down to is the slash commands. So here you can see that within your app, you can create custom Slack commands and if i click onto this this will trigger the activity by using the slash weather and you use it by doing that the slash weather plus the city name and so what this is going to do is going to call the url within the workflow okay so that's really all you have to do is put the slash command and then some descriptions and I'll go ahead and save this and then jump to the actual workflow here. So that URL you just saw for the slash command is for this webhook here. And you can see that this was changed to be slack dash weather. And anytime that this webhook is called with that weather slash weather and city information, then it will trigger the set of uh, API calls. So with the National Weather Service, there has you have to take a few extra steps in order to get the forecast information. First and foremost, you need to get the longitude and latitude information, and we'll we, we use the OpenStreetMap. And so when the slash command is activated with the city information, we use that city name for the OpenStreetMap API and retrieve the longitude latitude information okay so that's what we're doing and and by the way all of these apis are free to use and are super super responsive so no no paid apis here so the next thing we do is we take the longitude latitude information and then give it back to the national weather service and what that does is with that information we can now go ahead and feed it to another API for the National Weather Service to get the, the grid ID and the grid X and Y information. And that's how you actually get the forecast data. And then finally, I go ahead and create a message back to my Slack app, the, not the custom app here, but the Slack application interface. And I created a channel called weather and I use this JSON formatting to basically push that into the Slack app as a message, okay? So that's really all it is. It's fairly simple set of API calls to be able to retrieve the seven day forecast. And I'll show you a quick example of what that forecast looks like. And again, here in this message, you can format this however you want it to based on the API data that's returned. Okay, so here we are inside the Slack interface, and this is the weather channel that I just mentioned. And so if I put in slash weather and I'll use Chicago as an example, boom. So it says the weather has, for, <laughs> the workflow has started and went away real fast because the API returned that information that quickly. So here we have the forecast from tonight all the way up to next week. Great. Hope you find this useful. Um, this was really, created from uh, some other bigger projects that I'm working on that require the weather information um, as part of the the automation stack that we were working on. Great. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, etc. And thanks for watching this far. Bye-bye.